What's up, bitch? All right, let's do it. <clears throat> it's your girl. Hey, I'm Jade. What up, world? What we about to do? What's your name? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this woman? She's got in the car. So. It's your happy-go-lucky ass. What fuck wrong with you, anime? Tell on what your name is. That shit came out four days ago. The Freaky Friday shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I assume. But I don't think it's that big, though, so. It was 14 M's, four days. So, you want to introduce Yo, what up? It's your boy, Dizo. You guys heard my name already. <laughs> Any fucking who. Back in with another motherfucking reaction. You love saying my words, anywho. Back with another reaction to that little dick. What's bragging bitch saying? <laughs> I'm just playing. No Takashi me, nigga. I ain't mean it. Wow. I'm not about that shit, okay? Anyway. Uh, we reacting to this little diggy Chris Brown. Oh, you had to get your, Biggie Friday. your good tone on? That Thank came you. off smooth. That's all I'm saying. I'm Appreciate sorry. Appreciate you. you know. Shut your ass up. Can't give a nigga a compliment in this uh, bitch. This Freaky Friday video, uh, it came on a couple of days ago. That bitch at 14 M's. A double couple. You, you fuck with uh, you fuck a little diggy? Yeah, I mean, I never got into his music, but I, I like everything he's put out. Yeah. I've heard a little bit about his story enough to kind of respect it, coming from, like, the white rapper standpoint and being corny and comical. So I fuck with it. Hmm. Yeah, I fuck with him. I feel like, uh, lyrically, he's pretty fucking dope. Yeah. And his visuals is amazing. His execution is dope. And his uh, com comedic timing is pretty fucking good, too, so I fuck with him. Chris Brown is the ultimate. Ultimate um, what? Entertainer. Really? Chris Brown's the ultimate entertainer. He's the only motherfucker in the world that'll slap a bitch and dance and make you forget that he slapped a bitch. For he didn't make minutes. nobody. Well, we don't really care. The, the media just made it big. I feel like they block him a little bit. Oh, yeah. He's big blocked. Right. That, but So that's what I'm saying. Like, being the ultimate is not really possible because he is so blocked. But when it comes no, down to skill, mean, that's what he I'm saying. definitely, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's the skill. Fuck the... Oh, word. Because, I mean, if we were in the, the, the pre-internet age... Chris Brown even got the fuck out of here. He's been gone. But the fact that we have the social media shit, they can't fully get rid of him. Because shit, the people fuck with him. But yeah, let's get into this goddamn video. I don't know who directed it. I feel like Chris Brown and Lil Dicky might have collabed because they both do their own videos. So we'll definitely see how this bitch turns out. Oh, that's the little Chinese thing, the little good fortune thing. My mama knew about that shit. Word. So I'm pretty I torn know. between the General South Chicken and the Chicken Lil Main. What is your preference between the two? Fuck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will get the chicken lo Of course it's Mr. Miyagi. Chicken lo yes. Okay, thank I you. That's Mr. Miyagi for real? No, nigga. Oh, thank he you, probably dead, huh? Right. Oh, that nigga, big dead. Seems like a oh, no, no the way. Are you a little dicky? Yeah, how are you? Are you actually Lil Dicky? Yeah. Oh my God, dude, I love your Thank shit. You. Hey, this is Lil Dicky. He's like one of my favorite rappers. Hi, Dave. Oh. Nice to meet you. You're a rapper. Dave. Yep. No, he's not like a rapper. Rapper. He's like a funny rapper. He raps about like. Oh. Like how I just said this. Oh. Like he's like a funny little white guy. Oh yeah, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, he's like a rapper. Yeah, like, no, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. He knows. That's why I have respect for him now. He's funny about it. Everyone oh. says that. Everyone's always yeah. like, I'm like. Oh. He's not. He's not. <laughs> okay. Super funny, man. Thank you. I put so many of my boys on your dick, dude. Okay. <laughs> the fuck is What surprised me, and I think a lot of the fans have heard the album. Dude, everybody else in hip hop is so much cooler than me. People are so good at dancing, or they've got like the sickest tattoos. <laughs> Sometimes I really wish I could be somebody else. If he morph into Chris Brown and be dancing. They know that. It's stressful, man. I'm always screwing up. Wish I could be kind of like be somebody else for a day, you know? Like Lil Dicky? <laughs> Sometimes I really wish I could be somebody else. Be somebody else. This shit fire. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody else somebody else it's like somebody wrote the script or something. And on that day, me and Chris Viagra. Brown would change bodies. If this nigga be dead. You ever seen the movie Freaky Friday? Yeah. It's like they wrote this bitch with a video in mind. 
Yeah, it's how Lil Dicky do all the shit. So he write his songs thinking of the video first? The skits. It's just fire-ass SNL skits. Yeah, I don't like it as a song. I mean, it's cool because we watching what they talking about, but I don't, like, I'm not fucking with the song right now. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean... <laughs> he gonna say niggas many times he could while he Chris Brown. Dicky Chris Brown verse is way tougher than I fuck with Chris Brown nah. Lil Dicky verse. But I feel like Lil Dicky probably wrote this whole shit. Just no, how? I'm, I, yeah, I'm not comparing the the right. I'm just talking yeah. about literally. Right. Like Lil Dicky shit that he rapped, waking up as Lil Dicky and not being Chris. That shit was cold. Like. No facts. It, it bounced it was... back and forth from the thoughts that he would have had as Chris or Dicky. Like, how the fuck is Boston put like that shit and then? Fuck this nigga mama calling me for like that shit was hard but i like crazy. i mean but think about it the fact that i mean i'm sure you can write a verse about yourself like that like to the t like if you was just like but fuck he, it i'm gonna go in it's not like he couldn't consult chris listening to it cause i've heard like hella little diggy songs even how chris brown was like because he got this album he just put out called Lil brain where it's him um it's him and his brain he's rapping as his brain so even how he was singing it and all that shit it was the same type of vibe. So I, I knew as soon as I heard how Chris Brown was singing it, like when he was talking about himself, the little Dicky wrote that shit. And Chris Brown just probably pulled up and, you know, just did the shit. So with that being said, he probably could have like revamped a little bit just to make it more Chris. Because that shit was hard. That little Dicky yeah. shit was cold. Like that I low key was, was like, I don't even like the song. It's cool visually and I like that I'm listening to what I'm seeing mm -hmm. or seeing what I'm listening to. Like, but that execution of Lil Dicky versus now that shit was out of here, nigga. Man, I, I pray they let Lil Dicky get on SNL. I feel like he's gonna murder that shit. That should be cold. Cause this is basically the SNL skit. That should be cold. Yeah, exactly. Content and everything is disrespectful, but it's still funny. It's not. It's like politically incorrect, but just correct enough to not be out of pocket. To where it's like, whoa, mm -hmm. you violating humanity, nigga. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see. What the fuck else. <laughs> For sure. The whole switching to three different other people that's not on the song, that was fire. 
star power. Who, who else could he have switched to to make that big cold call? Beyonce. Oh, wish she would have been on that. <laughs> look at you. Look at you. Oh, God. Look at you. Stroke. <laughs> <having> anyway. <laughs> they know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you know. You was initiated into the hive last time I hit the moon. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> anyway. Um, no, for real though. That's like unrealistic. Who else? Um, Unrealistic as far as what? Nigga, fuck what I said. Who else? Oh, okay. It's not that important. Um, Eminem? Shit. Yeah. But like Slim Shady Eminem. That would have been cool. Yeah. That's low key symbolic. Like, although they're two different types of artists. No, he's definitely more weird Al Yankovic than. Excuse fucking. me? What did you just say? You never heard of Weird, weird Al Yankovic? No. He was like the first comedic rapper. Like, he used to like redo nigga songs and go platinum. I feel like Lil Dicky is like the best version of that. Word. I'm about to look that shit up. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, um. But nah, Lil Dicky is amazing. Like, that, that shit was dope. For, for what it was, that shit was dope as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I like how he meshed everything together. It seems like after his verse, it turned all the way up. Like, his verse was the, the climax, and then that bitch just kept climaxing. Because mm -hmm. even in that back and forth verse they had on the end, that shit was cold. But it wasn't as cold as Lil Dicky. I mean, I fucked, with, I fucked with the Chris Brown part, too. I mean, I didn't dislike it, but yeah. I'm, it wasn't executed. Like, like no other part yeah. of the song was as good as Lil Definitely, Dicky Yeah, look, definitely that. As soon as Lil Dicky part came on, it was... That was like yeah. when Eminem had the battle and he was talking about himself. It was like, yo, he could have said a bunch of cold-ass punchlines, but when he did that shit, mm -hmm. that's kind of how I felt about mm -hmm. that verse. That shit was cold. I give that an 8 as well. Like, 8.58. 8. What would have made it a 10 for you? The execution of the songwriting. Word. Um... So visually, I'm kind of going Damn. outside of the visual box with my rating. But today, I feel like we didn't see two fire ass videos. I'm gonna get this bitch. A, I'm gonna get that bitch a ten. I fuck with a ten. I'm gonna give it a ten, dog. Cause I fucked with the Chris Brown part. I fucked with the acting. I fucked with the the editing. I fucked with the the fucking. This shit was executed perfectly, stars. aside from the songwriting of the first verse. I and mean, for that to be the intro to the song, I needed some more. No, I feel it. I mean, I fuck with SNL too, so that, that's why. And that movie, the movie Pop Star that came out, it felt like that too. So I mean, I fucked with it. So. I'm gonna oh, get wait, wait, wait. What y'all think? Y'all fuck with Lil Dicky. Let us know how y'all feel about Lil Dicky. Or just subscribe. <laughs> that too. But yeah, let me know how you feel about Lil Dicky. Like would y'all would y'all would y'all listen to a whole Lil Dicky project or y'all like ah, uh, he too funny? I would. Really I'm kind of interested actually to know that his brain works like that. I fuck with yeah. that. Lil Dicky's pretty fire, but yeah. It's your boy Dizo, like, subscribe to both pages. Yes, world. Follow us on girl. goddamn Instagram, you little hey, bitch. Hey, I'm Jay. You dig? See me though. <laughs>